My name's Tom Day, and I'm a Kerrit Mara man from the Gundage Mara Nation in southwest Victoria, and a Yorta Yorta man from northern Victoria along the Murray River. My style of artwork is contemporary, but the subject matter is based on traditional storytelling, traditional techniques, but using acrylic paints and modern materials. When I paint, what I'm trying to do is tell a story. I'm trying to tell stories that have been hidden or kept secret for a time. I'm trying to tell stories that are important to Gundijmara people. Stories that have been passed down to me by my grandparents. Not just cultural stories, but stories of even their generations growing up on missions and fringe dweller camps and things like that. My grandmother and her generation grew up in a time that was different to their grandmothers and grandfathers. And I'm no different. I was raised in a time where the country itself was completely different to the way my grandmother saw it. I just try and paint things and paint landscapes and paint stories of places because uh, no matter what happens, where industry and, and growth occurs all over Gundijmara country, the story doesn't leave the place. The story remains the same on that place forever, and it always will. Every generation of Gundijmara people have seen our country differently. Our old people would have seen it when no European people were here, or no other people were here, and they painted it to reflect that. Our artwork shows um, from our old people uh, a different style to, to the way that we maybe paint today. The importance of what I do for me when I'm painting and doing any form of art is that it's my expression of country. It's me using the knowledge that's been given to me by elders and and aunties and uncles, so I get a chance to tell their stories as well. Most of the things that I paint are based on landscapes, part of country, but I don't paint them the way that people would see them today. And I don't paint them in a contemporary style of landscape artwork. I paint it before its cultural significance and its spiritual significance as well. I paint things where I look beyond what people see and I'm painting the spirit of that place, the story of that place. Looking beyond a blade of grass or a forest of trees or a pile of rocks. What I'm doing is trying to reimagine that place in my own interpretation, but based on the knowledge that I have of that place. Hopefully my artwork will show people or give them a glimpse how we see country, where we look beyond the things that are in front of us. Some of the places that I paint and some of the stories that I paint are intangible. You can't touch it, you can't see it. But it exists and we believe it exists and that's all that matters to us. Things may go and things have definitely gone in the southwest of Victoria. Places have been demolished where there's no living reminder of that place. But for the art of storytelling, we know the things that occurred on that place. We know the spirit of that place. And it's our job as artists and community people to pass that story on, to keep that story, and then to pass it on to others, young people particularly, so that story is not lost. The reason I paint these places is part of my own upbringing, being raised on country. Another reason I choose to paint the things I do is because of their importance to me, both spiritually, culturally and historically. And I paint them so they're not forgotten. My clan's country is Volcanic Plain. So when most people come to see my country and are taken on it, they see the cone of the volcano. And they see it for what it is. They see it as a volcano and they think it erupted. But we see it as something different and we see it as tangible evidence of a creator spirit that has left himself there as a reminder to us that he was here 
and that he did create our landscape for us. We call it Bojbim, which means high head. When I paint landscape and paint country, I'm not trying to focus on one particular area, whether it's the area of my clan, which is Stony Rise, Lava Flow country. I'm trying to paint the whole of my country so people can see it for what it really is and what it means to me. Without country, I cannot call myself a Gundijmara person. I've been taught to see my country for what it is, to look at the landscape and the way it's formed and to know that it was created by something. And the landscape isn't just formed to reflect the way it is and the way people see it. When I go to places and I look at places, it's tangible evidence of creator spirits that have been here and created this landscape for me. Everything has a story attached to them. I don't see things for what they are. I don't see piles of rocks laying around and think they're just piles of rocks laying around. I know there's a story attached to it. Any Aboriginal person can look at their landscape and know that it was created by something much greater than themselves. And I know that I belong to this country and my job is to try and interpret my country through art and tell the correct story so people know. I can paint many different things, the things that are on my landscape, whether it be the aquaculture that exists through fish trap channels, whether it be for the mountain ranges that exist on my country, the coastal landscape, the river country, the forest country. I can relate all my stories back to a particular place within my own country. And that's important to me to be able to do that. I want people to see when I paint a reflection of me. How important country is to me and how best I can tell the story of what I'm trying to do. Our country is diverse. It has all different landscapes on it. And each has its own particular story to tell. My job when I'm painting or doing art is to try and tell that story in the most honest way possible. And staying true to the story that has been told to me and passed down to me by old people by my elders, by my aunties, my uncles, anyone that has told me that story. When I go to these places, I don't go there because of what I see in front of me, the sight that I see, the cultural significance. I know that already. I've been shown that since I was a boy. The reason I go is to remember the people that took me there, that told me that story of that place, that told me why it was important to keep that story of that place and then to pass it on. I do it a different way where I paint the story. People see it and they know what that place is. In the southwest of Victoria on Gundijmara country is the birthplace of the state. So a lot has happened here for a long time and our landscape doesn't look the same as it used to when our old people were here before colonisation. When I paint, I paint things the way I think my old people would have seen it and would have lived on it. And use it as a window in time where you're looking at a particular place that is frozen in that moment. That's why I do what I do. That's why it means so much to me. The end product that everyone sees is the artwork that I do on a canvas. When people see my artwork, they see the canvas and the design on it. But the most important part for me is the process of what goes into designing that artwork. And that's a lifetime of knowledge. I rely on those stories that them old people shared with me to be able to tell that story. What it looks like, I don't do that to be judged, whether it looks good or whether it looks bad, or it's true to form. The story is more important to me. I didn't do artwork to be judged on it by outsiders or even my own people. I don't do artwork 
to gain a claim or to be judged on whether it looks good or whether it looks bad. I do artwork because it's important to me. Some artworks that I've done, no one sees because I become emotionally attached to it and the story is important to me. So I keep it for myself. It's important to continue to practice art forms that continue to tell stories because we're practicing things that have been happening within Gundijmara country since the beginning of time. We live in a contemporary world where a lot of things have changed around us and our identity is questioned all the time. When I paint, I strengthen my own identity. I know who I am and I know where I belong. My artwork should reflect how strong I am within my own identity. When I paint, I'm not thinking about what anyone else is going to say about the painting that I've done or the artwork I've produced. And whether it looks good or whether it looks bad, that's not important to me. What's important to me is that I've told the story or continue to tell the story because the story is the most important part. When I do my artwork, I'm not doing it wondering what someone else is going to say when they see it. I do it because I'm telling a story and I'm doing it because it's important to me as a Gundijmara person to continue to tell that story of that particular place or that particular story belonging to a particular group or a particular area on my landscape. There's enough pressure on me from the outside world and everyone wanting to have an opinion on what it means to be an Aboriginal in Victoria these days. I know exactly who I am. I know where I belong. I know the stories of my country. I know my country. When I do my art, I don't look for people's opinions to try and tell me who I am and how I should paint things. I don't need people's opinions trying to tell me how it should look and what it should represent. I do it because it's important to me and I know why I do it and that's enough for me. When people see my artwork, hopefully they see a reflection of me in it. And I'm not only telling the story but I've left a bit of myself in each artwork that I've done as well. I want people to think of me as a grassroots person that has just tried to tell the correct story and played his part in passing on knowledge to not only his own people but to educate the world as well about the importance of where I come from and to continue to tell their story. I know exactly who I am. I'm a country boy from South West Victoria who just happens to belong to the Gundijmara nation. And I know when I die and I leave this world, I know where all my spirit's going. It's going to Deenma, along with my other old people, and I can join them 